Hi, and welcome to my channel, Laura's Library Card. So it is time for another stack status video where I talk about what I have recently finished, what I'm currently reading, and the stack of books that I hope to get to soon. So let's just dive right in. So what have I recently been reading? What have I recently finished? I have recently finished Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I listened to this on audiobook and I really enjoyed the narration. Uh, this follows uh, our two main characters are Emira and Alix. Amira is um, black and she's like 26 and she is babysitting. Uh, well, I mean, there's two little girls, but she's mainly in charge of Briar, who I think is almost three. And Alix is Briar's mom and Alix is white. And right at the very start of the book, there's this incident where um, Amira is watching Briar and they're at a grocery store and it's kind of late at night because Mrs. Chamberlain, Alix, has called and asked Amira to kind of like distract the child because there's stuff going on at her house. And there's an incident where the security guard at this grocery store stops Amira because he thinks that maybe there's something going on. Did she kidnap this child? Like she doesn't seem to belong to this child. Um, so this is sort of recorded by another customer who's in the store who sort of becomes another main character. But this book really looks at sort of race and how Alix is uh, viewing her sitter and um, how she Alix is like really desperate to like become good friends with Amira and also this other guy who is the recorder of this video like has a connection to Alix and also has his own viewpoints on racism and especially like class and racism and how Alix views black people. Um, so it's a really interesting book. There's not a ton of plot, it's much more character driven, um, but I really enjoyed it and I'm kind of debating about whether or not to do a full book review because I don't feel like I just did that very well, um, but I liked it. Also I recently finished another audiobook which is The Lost Girls of Paris by Pam Genoff. Um, I actually started this book in like March, got maybe a quarter of the way through and DNF'd it. I just, I don't know why it wasn't hitting the spot because it was like, it's like Paris, spies, women spies, World War II. I'm like, this seems really cool, but it just wasn't doing it for me. Um, I've read when one other Pam Genoff book that I didn't particularly like. Um, so I finished Lost Girls of Paris because it is my book club pick for October. Um, and so I felt like I was like, all right, let's give this another shot. And ultimately, I just, their narration was pretty good. It was from um, three different narrators because we sort of follow three different points of view. But I just, and there was too many like plot holes. There was like, you know, this character like falls in love way, way, way too quickly. Um, I didn't think that the, um, the spy being in the field like work was really that like hard and I just didn't I, she should be like super tense there should be like incidences like she's supposed to be a um radio operator and then like as soon as she's put in the field we never really hear that we don't hear that much about her radio operating she instead is asked to be a courier and she instead is like asked to like set these explosives I'm like she's supposed to be a radio operator like what everyone uh uses her real name no one uses her alias it's just I found this book to be really frustrating and um, I felt like the resolution at the end where they're like, okay, so like, this is what happened. You know, it's a little bit of like a mystery of sort of who done it. And I just like found that really unbelievable. Like it basically came down to one person being like, well, that's not my impression of this person. So they couldn't have done it. And I was just like, but everything kind of points to that person. I don't know. I had a lot of frustrations. And I just, this is sort of like a second strike against Pam Genoff for me personally. So I don't know that I'm going to be continuing with her, maybe, I don't know. But I'm interested to uh, see what my book club has to say about it because I just didn't really like the book. And the last thing that I'll mention that I recently finished is Hood Feminism by Nikki Kendall. Um, I started listening to this on audiobook and I got the ebook because there was stuff I wanted to highlight. Um, and I finished this kind of a little bit ago, so I'm trying to remember it. Uh, basically, I really enjoyed looking at 
Um, a lot of sort of big issues. I remember there was a chapter on like gun violence. I remember there was a chapter on like food insecurity. Um, and basically the whole point of this book is that like, hey, there are big issues out there that are affecting women, especially marginalized women, you know, women of color. And those are still feminist issues too. Um, yes, like uh, having more women CEOs is, is a feminist issue, but basically like there's, it, the book is called Hood Feminism because a lot of the feminist movement has been like sort of middle to upper class white women who have benefited most from the changes in you know in this movement in feminism and uh so that's sort of the point that mickey kendall is making that we really need to also look at these other issues that are not just political issues they're also feminist issues um so i definitely like want to do a little bit more research on some of the parts of the book um and like sort of like what i can do about that um because i really felt like mickey kendall like laid things out well but like i wasn't sure I, I just want to do a little bit more research, but I really enjoyed Hood Feminism. So what am I currently reading? I am currently reading The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I have that book on ebook. I think I'm like 60% of the way through. Um, and normally I really enjoy Christina Lauren, but this book I know has a lot of like mixed reviews. And for me, it's just sort of lacking in some tension. Um, there's definitely, I've saw some, I saw some other people who complained about the like women relationships that the main character, character Carrie is, uh, doesn't, she's not in a healthy relationship with her boss, who's a woman, Melly, Melissa. Um, and so like that's when some people's major disappointment in the book. And yes, I can understand those concerns, but also I just don't feel like there's been enough like build up for the like romance part and the main male character is just kind of like he's there and like he likes her and I can sort of see why they like each other it just feels like they were like oh we're just starting to like each other and yet we're already in this like it's supposed to feel more intense or something and I'm like I don't it, it doesn't feel that intense like at this point of the story we should be more intense and I just kind of hit this hit this part where I'm like okay so this is going to be the problem this is going to be the the bleak moment like he he just did this thing it happened in like one paragraph where he's talking to somebody else and I'm like oh so this is it this is going to be the problem and I was like boom like I just I it seemed a little too like blunt where I'm like this is gonna be the problem this is gonna be the miscommunication that drives them apart more than a miscommunication it's his actions so I'm just kind of like all right and because I've got that like so pinned I mean it would be really great if I was wrong but I have a strong feeling I'm not wrong um and so I think that that kind of is gonna bring down my overall rating of the book but I'm liking it and I'm almost done uh, not too much to go I'm also currently reading The Only Plane in the Sky by Garrett M. Graff. This is a book about 9-11. I think the subtitle is An Oral History of 9-11. Um, so I'm listening to this on audiobook. It has a full cast of readers, narrators, um, and I'm not that far into it. It's already very, like, intense, which, I mean, I knew it was going to be, but, um, I mean, I was only... <laughs> again, aging myself. Um, I was 11 when 9-11 happened. And so while I remember like where I was, I was definitely kind of kept out of the loop from adults were like protecting me from what was happening. Um, and at the end of the day, I remember my grandmother, I got home off the bus and my grandma was like, you sit and watch this. And she made me sit and watch the footage that was being replayed over and over and over about um, the planes and like the, the fires. I can remember the smoke. And after a little, like, and she said, you're going to want to remember this. And it's true, that's like something that's really stuck with me because she made me sit and watch this, but I didn't understand its like impact. I didn't really like know anything about terrorism. Um, so I was okay until they started playing actual recordings of the like, you know, the planes trying to communicate with um, air control or like phone calls from like air control to like the other airlines that are like, um, okay, like stuff's happening. And so it just, to hear these voices of people who, um, not all of the voices that we're hearing are people who were hurt or passed or anything, but like just to like hear that tension of like stuff is happening, like shit is going down, uh, really hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting um, or that I just didn't realize that there was going to be like the actual recordings. I thought it was just going to all be like these narrators. Um, so I'm really enjoying that audiobook. And the last book that I am currently reading is actually the. The Dragon Reborn, which is the third book in the Wheel of Time series. Um, I'm reading this with a cool Discord group. Um, this is by Robert Jordan. And uh, this is sort of the continuation of the series. 
Uh, we're getting other points of view that we've seen less in the first two books, so I'm really enjoying. So I'm about, I'm barely halfway. Um, we get a lot of parents' point of view, which I'm enjoying, and we're getting a lot of the ladies' points of view, which I'm enjoying. So um, I feel like adventure is afoot. Um, we have definitely people sort of going off in different directions to complete different quests. So um, I'm working on the Dragon Reborn. So the last stack is my TBR. What am I going to get to soon in the future as soon as I'm done with this currently reading? Um, I definitely want to get to The Rogue of Fifth Avenue by Joanna Shoup. This is the book that has been chosen for the historical romance choice that uh, Jen from the Book Refuge She's kind of has this book club buddy read, read along every month, and that is the choice. And I think her show is next weekend. I'll put a date here. Um, and I don't really know that much about this book other than it's a historical romance, and um, I kind of wanted to read a Joanna Shoup. So I have that coming up. And for another book club, for the Page Turner book club, our October choice is, or their October choice is The Shadows by Alex North. So I just picked this book up um, from the library over the weekend, and I don't know anything about it other than I've seen this book cover on booktube, and it's supposed to be spooky, and that's the book choice. So I have to get to this in the next week or 10 days or so. And lastly, I also have a, another historical romance book checked out from the library. I have the audiobook of Brazen and the Beast by Sarah McLean. Um, I know this is the sequel to the Wicked and the Wallflower uh, book and it's part of that series. Um, and I've actually heard people say that they like Brazen and the Beast either the best or better than Wicked and the Wallflower. Um, so I have the book on audio and I would like to get to it. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Um, but I was sort of like, a smidgen underwhelmed, I don't know why, about Wicked and the Wallflower. Um, so I really hope that that holds true for me and that I would like Brazen and the Beast uh, well as well. So if you've heard any books in this video that sound interesting to you or that you've read or if you have any recommendations for me I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise those are the stacks of books that I have recently finished and currently reading and my soon-to-be TBR. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear my eventual thoughts about these books and if you want more content from me. Thank you so much. Bye.